O oh, Fusis, resourceful mother of all, industrious and rich divinity, oldest of all, queen, all teeming and indomitable, O oh, lustrous ruler, ever horned mistress of all, highest goddess, imperishable, firstborn, fabled glorifier of men, nocturnal, radiant with constellations, light bringing, irrepressible, you move swiftly, your steps are noiseless, O pure marshal of the gods, O end that has no end, all partake of you, you alone partake of no one, self-fathered, hence fatherless, virtue itself, joyous, great, you are accessible, O nurse of flowers, you lovingly mingle and twine, you lead and rule, you bring life and nourishment to all. Self-sufficient, many named persuasion of the graces, dyke herself, queen of heaven, queen of the earth and the sea, bitter to the vulgar, sweet to those who obey you, wise in all, giver of all, nurturing queen of all abundant nourishment is yours as you dissolve whatever ripens father and mother of all nurturer and nurse giver of sweet birth O oh, blessed one giver of wealth of seeds and of the fever of seasons a rich and mighty divinity you give shape and form to all things eternal, setting all in motion, skilled and discreet. You are ever turning this swift stream into an unceasing eddy, flowing in all things, circular and ever-changing form, fair-throned and precious. You alone accomplish your designs, mighty mistress of booming thunder. You rule over those who hold the scepter. O oh, loud, roaring divinity, fearless, all-taming, destined fate, fire-breathing, you are life everlasting. You are immortal providence. You are all things to all, because you alone do. You are the all. You alone do. You bring peace and health. You bring growth to all. We hymn the many named series of Aphrogenia and the great royal source from which all immortal winged erotus have sprung up, wishing to increase the infinite universe with birth, aroused in the souls a yearning for the earthly existence. Others, again, always supervise the multifarious courses of the wedding songs, so as to produce an immortal race of such suffering men and all care for the works of the love-producing Catharia. But, goddess, for you have a far-hearing ear everywhere. Whether you envelop the great heaven all around, where, as they say, you are the divine soul of the everlasting cosmos, or dwell in the aether above the rims of the seven orbits while pouring unyielding powers forward into your series. Listen, and may you steer the toilsome course of my life, mistress with your most righteous arrows, while putting an end to the chilly impulse of unholy desires. We him, we him the light that raises man aloft, on the nine daughters of great Zeus with splendid voices, who have rescued from the agony of this world, so hard to bear, the souls who were wandering in the depths of life through immaculate rites from intellect awaking books, and have taught them to strive eagerly to follow the track leading beyond the deep gulf of forgetfulness, and to go pure to their kindred star from which they strayed away when once they fell into the headland of birth, mad about material lots. But goddesses, 
put an end to my much agitated desire to and throw me into ecstasy through the Noric words of the wise, that the race of men without fear for the gods may not lead me astray from the most divine and brilliant path with its splendid fruit. Always draw my all-roving soul towards the holy light, away from the hubbub of the much-wandering race, heavy laden from your intellect-strengthening beehives, and everlasting glory from its mind-charming eloquence. Hearken, you gods holding the helm of holy wisdom, who have kindled an upward-leading fire, draw to the immortals, human souls, who leave the dark hole behind, purified by the secret initiations of hymns. Hearken, great saviors, and grant me from the very divine books pure light, scattering the mist, so that I know well an immortal god from a man that a demon doing cruel things may not hold me forever submerged in the streams of forgetfulness, while I am far away from the blessed ones, that a chilling penalty may not bind my soul with the fetters of life, which, fallen into the waves of cold becoming, does not want to wander all too long. But gods, leaders toward bright shining wisdom, Hearken and reveal to me while hurrying to the upward leading track, the secret rites and initiations of the holy words. Hearken to me, child of Aegis bearing Zeus, sprung forth from the paternal source and from the top of your series, male spirited, shield bearing, of great strength, from a mighty sire, Pallas. Tritogenia, Lance Brandisher, Golden Helmeted, Hearken, accept this hymn, Mistress, with a kind spirit. Do not just leave my words at the mercy of the winds. You, who opened the gates of wisdom trodden by the gods and overcame the tribe of the earthly giants which fought the gods, you, who guarded the unconquerable girdle of your virginity by fleeing the desire of the amorous Hephaestus, you who saved the heart as yet unchopped of Lord Bacchus in the vault of heaven when he was once divided up by the hands of the titans and brought it to his father in order that, through the ineffable wishes of his begetter, a new Dionysus would grow again from Semele around the cosmos. Your axe, by cutting off at the roots the heads of all-seeing Hecate's animals of passions, put asleep the process of becoming. You, who loved the revered power of the mortal awaking virtues, you, who adorned our whole life with many kinds of skills by casting noetic craftsmanship into souls, You who obtained the Acropolis on the high crested hill, a symbol, mistress, of the top of your great series. You who loved the man-feeding land, mother of books, strongly resisting the holy desire of your father's brother, and granted the city to have your name and noble mind. There, under the top edge of the mountain, you made an olive tree sprout up as manifest sign of that battle for posterity, too. Then an immense gulf stirred up from the sea, came upon the children, directed by Poseidon, lashing all things with its loud roaring streams. Give me, as I am roaming around the earth, a blessed harbor. Give my soul holy light from your sacred myths and wisdom and love. Breathe into my love a power so great and of such a kind that it pulls me back up again from the vaults of matter to Olympus, into the abode of your father. And if some grievous error in my life overpowers me, for I know how I am buffeted by many and various unholy actions, from different sides, offenses which I committed with a foolish spirit, Be gracious, mild counseling goddess, preserver of mortals. Do not let me become prey and spoil for the horrible punishments lying on the ground. Since I profess to belong to you, 
give steady and propitious health to my limbs and drive the herds of bitter flesh-wasting illnesses away. Yes, I beg you, my queen, and stop with your immortal hand the entire misery of black pains. Give calm winds to the voyage of my life, children, a spouse, fame, happiness, lovely joy, persuasion, conversations with friends, nimble wit, power against my enemies, a place of prominence among the people. Hearken, hearken, mistress, I come to you in deep supplication through pressing necessity, and you lend me a gentle ear.